Your scale hasn't moved in months. The diet you're following worked for your friend but does nothing for you. Your doctor keeps saying, eat less, move more. And you're already doing both. Something else is controlling your weight. Something invisible, chemical, and active in your bloodstream every single hour of every day. Researchers at Yale University studied lean women, not overweight, just lean women, and found something shocking. Those with higher stress hormone levels stored significantly more fat around their organs than women with normal hormone levels. Same weight on the scale, completely different fat distribution inside their bodies. The hormone? Cortisol. But here's where science gets interesting. Teams at Harvard Medical School, the National Institutes of Health, and research hospitals across three continents tested four specific plant compounds in randomized controlled trials, the gold standard of medical research. Not theories, not guesses, actual measurements in actual humans. Each compound showed measurable effects on either cortisol levels, fat metabolism, blood sugar regulation, or inflammation. When researchers looked at combining these ingredients, something unexpected happened. The effects didn't just add together, they multiplied. I'm going to show you these four ingredients, the exact clinical trial dosages that produced results, how to prepare them at home, and what timeline you should expect based on published research. This isn't about willpower, this is about biochemistry and giving your body the specific compounds that researchers measured working in clinical trials. Let me show you exactly how cortisol creates belly fat using published research. A study in psychosomatic medicine followed women over multiple years. Scientists measured their cortisol response during standardized stress tests. The finding? Women who secreted more cortisol during these tests gained more abdominal fat over time, independent of their calorie intake or physical activity levels. Read that again. Two women eating identical diets doing identical exercise. The one with higher cortisol responses gained more belly fat. How does this work? According to research published in PMC Analyzing Visceral Obesity, elevated cortisol triggers three specific metabolic changes. First, cortisol signals your liver to release stored glucose into your bloodstream. This happens even when you haven't eaten. Your blood sugar rises. Second, rising blood sugar triggers insulin release. Insulin is your primary fat storage hormone. It converts excess blood glucose into triglycerides and stores them, preferentially in your abdominal area. Third, chronic cortisol elevation creates systemic inflammation. This inflammation makes your cells resistant to insulin. You need more insulin to handle the same amount of glucose. More insulin means more fat storage. The cycle intensifies. A clinical study published in Clinical Endocrinology measured this directly. Men with higher cortisol production rates showed increased visceral fat accumulation and insulin resistance. When eight of these men lost weight, their cortisol production normalized and their insulin sensitivity improved. Age makes this worse. Research published in Nutrition and Metabolism shows that cortisol regulation becomes less efficient after age 50. Your morning cortisol spike, which should return to baseline within two hours, stays elevated longer. This extends your daily fat storage window. The good news, specific plant compounds can help, not by blocking cortisol, you need it for energy and alertness, but by helping your body return to balance faster after stress. Four ingredients have the strongest clinical evidence for supporting healthy cortisol levels in metabolism. Each has been tested in multiple randomized controlled trials. Ashwagandha, a double-blind, placebo-controlled trial published in the Indian Journal of Psychological Medicine tested 64 adults with chronic stress. They received 300 mg of high-concentration ashwagandha root extract twice daily for 60 days. Results, serum cortisol levels decreased by 27.9% compared to placebo. Stress assessment scores improved by 44%. 
A 2025 meta-analysis in BJ Psych Open examined 15 randomized controlled trials with 873 total participants. The analysis found ashwagandha supplementation significantly reduced cortisol levels. The mechanism, ashwagandha contains withanolide compounds that modulate the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, your body's central stress control system. Green tea extract, a randomized double-blind trial published in Clinical Nutrition studied 102 women with central obesity. The treatment group received 856.8 mg of EGCG daily for 12 weeks. Results? Significant weight loss from 76.8 plus or minus 11.3 kg to 75.7 plus or minus 11.5 kg. BMI decreased, waist circumference reduced. EGCG activates AMPK, adenosine monophosphate activated protein kinase, in adipose tissue, an enzyme that signals cells to burn stored fat for energy. Ceylon cinnamon, a randomized double-blind trial published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition tested 18 adults with obesity and prediabetes. Participants received 4 grams of cinnamon daily for 4 weeks while wearing continuous glucose monitors. Results? 24-hour glucose concentrations significantly decreased compared to placebo. Glucose peaks were lower with cinnamon supplementation. Turmeric, a comprehensive scoping review published in Nutrients, analyzed 389 clinical trial citations testing curcumin. The analysis found beneficial effects in 79% of trials examining metabolic disorders caused by obesity-associated inflammation and insulin resistance. A 2023 meta-analysis in cytokine examining 66 randomized controlled trials found curcumin supplementation significantly reduced inflammatory markers, C-reactive protein, TNF-alpha, and IL-6. Based on clinical trial protocols, here are the effective dosages. Ashwagandha, 300 to 600 milligrams daily, standardized extract with 5% with analydes. The cortisol reduction study used 300 milligrams twice daily. Start with 300 milligrams once daily in the morning. Green tea extract, 400 to 850 milligrams EGCG daily. The weight loss trial used 856.8 milligrams. If sensitive to caffeine, use decaffeinated extract or start with 400 milligrams. Ceylon cinnamon, three to four grams daily. The glucose study showing strongest results used four grams. Use Ceylon, cinnamonum verum, not cassia cinnamon. Cassia contains higher coumarin levels unsuitable for daily use. Curcumin, 500 to 1,000 milligrams daily with piperine. Most studies showing anti-inflammatory effects used 500 to 1,500 milligrams daily. Black pepper extract, piperine, significantly improves curcumin absorption. Morning mix hot beverage method. Ingredients, one cup hot water, 170 to 180 degrees F, not boiling, one half teaspoon ashwagandha powder, about 300 to 400 milligrams, one green tea bag or half teaspoon matcha, one half teaspoon Ceylon cinnamon, one half teaspoon turmeric powder, small pinch black pepper, optional one teaspoon raw honey. Preparation, heat water to 170 to 180 degrees F. Let boiled water cool two minutes. Mix dry ingredients in a mug, Add two tablespoons hot water to the powders and stir into paste. Add green tea bag or matcha. Pour remaining water and stir for 30 seconds. Steep five to seven minutes. Remove tea bag, stir, and add honey if desired. Drink 30 minutes before breakfast. Stir before each sip as compounds settle. Supplement alternative. Take with breakfast. One ashwagandha capsule, 300 to 600 milligrams, one to two green tea extract capsules, 400 to 850 milligrams EGCG, one curcumin capsule with biopurine, 500 to 1,000 milligrams, sprinkle one teaspoon Ceylon cinnamon on food. Timing, 
Best time, morning, 30 minutes before breakfast, when cortisol naturally peaks. Avoid after 2 p.m. Green tea contains caffeine. Absorption enhancement. Take with small amount of healthy fat. Add coconut oil to beverage or take with meal containing fat. Curcumin is fat soluble and absorbs better with dietary fat. Consult your physician before starting, especially if taking medications. Ashwagandha may interact with thyroid medications, sedatives, and immunosuppressants. Curcumin has blood thinning properties. Avoid if taking anticoagulants. Cinnamon can lower blood sugar. Monitor if taking diabetes medications. Pregnant or nursing women should not use ashwagandha. Those with autoimmune conditions should consult healthcare providers before using ashwagandha or curcumin. Some people experience mild digestive upset when starting, especially with curcumin. If this occurs, take with food and reduce dose by half for the first week. Research-based timeline. The ashwagandha cortisol study showed significant reductions at 60 days. The green tea weight loss study measured results at 12 weeks. The cinnamon glucose study showed effects within four weeks. Based on these clinical trial timelines, weeks one to two, some people report improved sleep quality and reduced afternoon fatigue. Weeks three to four, stress response may feel more manageable. Energy levels may stabilize. Weeks five to eight, metabolic changes may become noticeable. Modest waist circumference changes possible. Weeks nine to 12, clinical trials showed most significant measurements in body composition, cortisol levels, and inflammatory markers in this time frame. These are average timelines from clinical research. Individual responses vary. Consistency matters more than perfection. Missing occasional days won't negate progress. Clinical trials showed modest but measurable effects. The green tea study showed 1.1 kilogram weight loss over 12 weeks, not dramatic, but statistically significant. The cinnamon study showed glucose improvements, not glucose cures. This supports your body's natural regulation systems. It won't override poor sleep, chronic stress, or inadequate nutrition. Document your starting point, waist circumference at belly button level, fasting glucose if available, subjective stress and energy ratings, 1 to 10 scale, re-measure at 30 and 60 days. This is educational information, not medical advice. Your physician knows your specific health situation and medications. If this research-based information helped you understand cortisol's role in belly fat, click the like button. Comment helpful if you're trying this approach. After 30 days of consistent use, return and share your experience in the comments. Real results from real people provide valuable information for others. Share this with someone struggling with stubborn abdominal fat despite proper diet and exercise. All research citations are linked in the description. You can verify every claim I made against published studies. Subscribe for evidence-based health information for adults over 60. No hype, no false promises, just published research explained clearly. Take baseline measurements today. Waist circumference, subjective stress level, 1 to 10, energy level, 1 to 10. Photograph your measurements. Reassess at 30, then 60 days. Objective tracking shows what's working. Small, consistent actions sustained over weeks and months create measurable changes. That's what clinical trials demonstrate. Take care of your health.